the Airfix 172nd scale Bristol F2B fighter coming up next on Monster Hobbies What's in the Box. Hello once again, my name is Trevor Slescu and I'm the owner of Monster Hobbies in High River, Alberta, Canada. So today we are going to look at this Airfix classic two-seater airplane from 1916. September 1916 is when it actually, the real one, made its debut on the battlefield and uh, with two passengers, or two, <laughs> two people flying the airplane. One was the rear tail gunner, and the other was able to fire the front guns as well as fly the plane, which was pretty crucial in the war. So now, without further ado, let's go down to our bench and see what's in the box. Welcome back down to our table, where we're going to look at a two-seater aircraft, the Bristol F-2B fighter from Airfix in 172nd scale. Now this is a model kit I got from my friend Fred. So, without further ado, let us open this thing up, and a good hearty thank you for Fred's little contribution here to this video. <laughs> so, we'll move some of this out of the way, and the first thing we will look at are the instruction sheets, which say the Bristol 2 F2B came out in 1917. Oops, and there goes the other part of the instructions. <laughs> So here, once again, we have instructions in all the languages of Europe. That's about it for that part. Whoops. And now here are the very simplistic instructions here. You get two pilots in this one, which is nice. and. There's all the struts going together. I built one of these when I was a kid, and it is quite an easier model to build. Uh, partly due to the fact that it's larger. And here they give you the Humbrol paint color callouts. Flown by Major A.E. McKeever. So there you go. Now let's take a look at the plastic. It comes in this great big bag here. And I'll just move these over to here. Ooh. There's a little loose part in the bag. Okay. So we're starting off with the wing, and this is the top wing, because all the little holes for the struts are down below. And again, we've got a bunch of those sink marks happening there, which you'll have to take out with your knife. But it does have this nice double short a rib up here. That was a structural piece for the wings to give a nice solid trailing edge. And here we have the bottom wing. And these little holes underneath. And the pins. So this does not fit completely up tight against the bottom of the undercarriage. This actually, this wing actually hangs down just a slight bit, as you can see there. And much like the top wing, it has a nice double strut thing. And what's nice is those little holes, the sink marks, are not on the bottom. They're actually on the top of this wing. But once again, you'll have to remove those. Okay, getting into the fuselage here. Have some nice detail. There's those exhaust manifolds there. And then there's separate pipes that glue in. And you can see the nice stitching pattern along here. And the tail rudder has vertical ribs going through it, which is quite a lovely detail. And these are the tail rudders, which again you can see they have the ribs in them, quite predominant. And now we get into all the struts, which are individual components as you can see as well as the big wheels there's some nice but soft radiator detail in there the machine guns are a little bit thin and the pilots do not have legs so 
make sure that you paint them really nicely. <laughs> and our propeller here is molded as a separate identity. Okay, and then these are the deck holes. And I'm not quite sure why they put the red dots off of the roundel, which of course makes it pretty hard to locate the center dots. But with a bit of luck you can get it anchored pretty good. And of course that now brings us to the conclusion of our examination of the Airfix Bristol 2 F2B Fighter by Airfix 172nd scale. We hope you enjoyed this look at the Airfix 172nd scale a Bristol Fighter, the two-seater from September 1916. And if you would like to make a contribution to our channel so that we can continue these excellent reviews, please go to our YouTube homepage and check out the PayPal button underneath the banner there. Click on that and it will guide you to the rest. And if you would like to check out our model airplane collection, take a look at it online at www.monster-hobbies.ca. I'll leave a link below that you can click on and go directly to our aircraft models. And if you would like to see some of our other reviews of 172nd scale model airplanes from World War I, please check out this video, this video, and this video. And don't forget to like and subscribe to us on this icon right here and click the notification bell. So when I make new videos, you will be able to find them. And until next time, happy flying!